Um, yo, uh, this is a video for one of my friends, um, Poetic Carved in Flesh. It's a video that he did about five things that people wouldn't know about you. Um, and it touched me because not a lot of people know a lot about me in the first place. There's a few certain people that know me. Um, I'm a really shy guy, so I don't really talk a lot about my own feelings and stuff. I kind of keep that to myself. Because of all, like, a lot of shit that happened to me when I was a kid. But, um, five things that people don't know about me. Okay. Well, one thing would be that not a lot of people know that, um, I don't know, I, I, seriously, I don't even know what to fucking say, because not a lot of people know a lot about me, and it, it's kind of a personal thing for me, and just saying it like that, like right out in the blue, a lot of people are going to have a lot of different reactions, and I just don't want to say it like that, you know? But, um, I can say that a lot of people don't know that, um, I'm shy. I, I pretend to be not shy, but I am. Like, I'm really open, and I talk about a lot of certain things, but I'm really shy. A lot of people don't know that, um... That I have a lot of physical and um, mental, mentally, or I have physical and mental problems with my with my life. So not a lot of people know that. Um, I have well, <laughs> some people don't know that I love chicken. Chicken, I like. I love my chicken, man. Bring me to a restaurant and order me chicken, and I'm gonna pick it clean. I'm gonna fucking take every single little piece of meat off the bones, and I'm gonna lick it clean. I love chicken a lot. I love my chicken. Um, a lot of people already know that I love drinking beer. Okay, so not a, everyone knows that pretty much. Um. Um, what some people would know is that me and my real dad don't get along. When I was 18, I moved from Ontario because my dad says, oh, I'm going to kick your ass out when you're 18 and blah, 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 and whatever so I'm like fuck it so before he kicked me out I actually left and I moved here near Montreal since then I've been trying to keep in contact with him but I had an accident that not a lot of people know about but I had an accident when I was 16 before I moved here and I was in a coma for three months and I woke up from a coma um, and I was suffering with amnesia, which is a memory problem. And I couldn't talk, I couldn't write, I couldn't eat, I couldn't piss, I couldn't go to the washroom, I couldn't play with my fingers, I couldn't do this. I didn't know fuck, I didn't know my name, I didn't know who, where I lived, I didn't know my parents, didn't know my friends, didn't know fuck all. It was like completely memory wipe. So. I had to stay in the hospital for a year and a half to get re uh, 
we there's a word for it it just can't say it it's so fucking hard to say it's uh for we all of we oh how does it go it's the to rehabilitate yourself it's rehabilitation sessions or something I think I said it so yeah I had to do that for a year and a half so that's pretty hard I got out of there and uh, I learned how to talk again and move and and it was hard so anyway so what happened is I moved I moved here I'm trying to keep, keep in target, contact with my dad and my dad's like oh you're dead to me and I don't care about you and you're not my son because you left and you left everything behind you left your family behind and you left your nieces and your friends and everything behind and to be honest I didn't have much in Windsor to, to begin with I was considered poor and got teased a lot in school and and um so I preferred to move because I got my own apartment now you know I go out all the time with friends and I have a lot of friends here and I see my family that lives up north and when I try to see them but they kind of live far and so um another thing that people won't know about me is when I was a kid um, my mom, she left me when I was like around three or four. So I don't really know my mom a lot, but I, st I still try to talk to her and, um, and, uh, I have two step brothers, well, half brothers that live with my mom in Ontario and I see them sometimes and so I'm, I'm still getting in t contact with my mom. So, so as a kid for me it was really hard my dad was never there my mom was never there never really had much people to talk to you know so I had my friends and my friends even my friends were like Richard man you're too weird you're too fucked up so so yeah pretty much I don't know what to say but I'm a really open guy and not a lot of people know those things about me so um just did a video about for people that I know. Um, so, um, to finish this video off, if there's any people um, that's been listening or watching my videos and there's something that you would like to know or something, a subject that you would like for me to talk about one of your video requests or one of your videos that you did just send them and I will look at them and I will reply and I will comment or whatever um, I'm always glad to be there to listen to some friends of mine so just send me your videos and you will definitely hear from me soon and to um, my friends on YouTube, Poetic, uh, Carved in Flesh, uh, Princess Disaster, uh, Stewball, um, a couple people I know. Um, just wanted to say hello and I wish you all a good day and hope all is well with you guys. So just send me your videos when you have the chance, and I will send you one back when I can. And um, take care of yourselves, and hear from you soon, and uh, yeah. Peace, <laughs> like I usually do. Woo! Well, I got like 20 seconds left, so. Um, I can say a quick sorry for the via the other videos that I did because my friends like really disgusting in some of them. So yeah, sorry about that. So see ya. Take care. Bye.